Good afternoon and welcome to Cornwall and welcome once again to the Lizard Peninsula and uh, this is my last day today going back tonight which I'm a bit sad about because I've had a fantastic week here it's been really really lovely it's another glorious sunny day as well and uh, it's uh, just absolutely fabulous it's been so nice to get away <laughs> anyway it's time for another beer review um, I'm going to do a review of another Cornish uh, brewery because it'd be rude not to seeing as I'm in the county of Cornwall and uh, a beer from a brewery I've never heard of actually and uh, they were founded in 2011 and they're called the Rebel Brewing Company and here they are and this is their IPA called Surf Bum and uh, called it Cornish Light IPA and uh, it comes in a 500ml bottle and it says Surf Bum is a California style IPA which uses distinctive hops uh, from some of the best surfing uh, countries in the world it is combined to make a light hoppy beer perfect after an awesome summer surf in a Cornish sunshine. Doesn't that sound idyllic? And um, the first thing that does concern me a little bit, I and mean, I appreciate they say it's a light IPA, but the ABV is only 3.5%, which for an IPA is a little bit on the weak side. Uh, generally, traditionally, IPAs normally start around about 4.5%, ABV, and they normally have a fairly, you know, pack quite a hoppy punch to them. Generally, that's traditional. And uh, 3.5 does seem a little on the weak side. However, saying that, you do get some quite, you know, hoppy, uh, light ABV beers around. Uh, probably the most best known is uh, Trinity, uh, which is by the uh, Redemption Brewery that are based in London. There are others. Uh, you get Latane from the Celtic Experience Brewery, a wonderful beer I had recently. They're from Wales, and that's a 3.5 as well. Lovely hoppy beer. And one close to me, actually, Siren Craft, uh, do a beer called Quartermast. Again, very low ABV and the hoppy flavour is beautiful. Uh, it's quite hard to get that sort of flavour out of a weak ABV beer. It takes quite a skillful sort of brewer to be able to do it, but it can be done. So I'm hoping this beer is going to be like that and it's not probably just like a golden ale like I think it probably is going to be. But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> Let's get it open. Right. Oh, oh yes, lovely, lovely smoke coming off that. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, let's pour it straight in. Ah, yes, as I expected, a lovely golden colour. Really, really pretty. Yeah, that's great stuff. Okay, it's bottle condition, so we won't pour everything into it, otherwise, it'll spoil the beer. Look at that gorgeous see through golden colour. It pours with a one finger head, uh, quite loosely packed bubbles, pretty good carbonation, as you can see. It's uh, going with the nose. Okay, uh, what am I getting from that? A, you can smell the hops. There's definitely a hoppy sort of nose to it as well. Uh, you can smell the malts. Uh, not getting a lot of anything else really. Uh, yeah, you've got the citrus there as well. There's a bit of lemon, a bit of orange. Uh, it's not giving a lot away, to be honest. Um, so it's a, let's go in with a taste. Cheers. Okay. Um, you're getting the hoppiness, but it isn't a strong hoppy flavour like a, an IPA should be. The hops are there, they're definitely there, but they're very subtle. Um, you can taste the malts. Yeah, I, I think it's probably Cascade hops they're using in that, I would have thought. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's a slightly minty aftertaste. Ever so slightly. There's a little bit of mint there as well. And, um, yeah, it's not unpleasant. It's very nice. Yeah, the, the, the mintiness is there. Definitely a slight minty undertone to it, which is very pleasant. Um, it's a real summer beer this one, it's a sort of beer which I think would really benefit from spending a couple of hours in the fridge just to chill it down nicely on a lovely warm summer's evening, crack a chilled bottle of this, absolutely super. Um, but it's not an IPA. <laughs> now, had it said Surf Bum Golden Pale Ale, I would have said this is an absolutely super beer, absolutely brilliant. And um, I would have probably scored it quite highly actually because it is a nice refreshing sort of beer. Um, I would have probably scored it around about the 7 or 8 mark. Uh, because it's calling itself an IPA, and again, I absolutely, it's a real pet hate of mine when breweries basically call beers they're not. It's not an IPA. 
but it's not an India Pale Ale at all. It's, it's just a golden pale ale. Um, and because they have called it an IPA, I'm going to mark it down for that. Um, for me, it's a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 beer, purely on the basis that it's not an IPA. But would I drink it again? I, to be fair, I probably would, because there's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice enough beer. It's just not an IPA. <laughs> so there we have it, ladies and gents. Uh, the Rebel Brewing Company from Cornwall. They're surf bum IPA. Light Cornish IPA, as they call it. And, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's not a bad beer. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.